a girl tag moderator just told me if I don't teach you guys how to make a perfect thumbnail, then I'll get banned forever. So the first thing you want to do is open Blender. So once you have your rig imported into Blender, press the little circle around it and then go over here and press pose mode. Now you can move the monkey's hands, face, and chest. So for this thumbnail, I'm just going to make the monkey stand there. So I think this is a good pose. And now it's time to import this into Photoshop. So what you want to do is go up here and press add and press camera and then press view and then press viewpoint camera. And then you go press view navigation walk navigation and now you can move around and take the picture so i think i'm gonna want it to look like this and then go up here press render render image so this is what the render looks like and now it's time to import this into photoshop so if you want to use something like photoshop then i'll link it in the description of this video so you guys can make this too so after importing the image blender automatically cut it out for me but if you want to cut it out you could use this tool right here to like cut it out along on the edges so after you cut out the monkey press this tool over here to shade it so i'm gonna be shading it along some edges like this so after shading the monkey you're gonna want to go over here to filter then camera raw filter and you can mess around with all these filters right here and this will make your monkey look way better and now it's time to import a background you could really use any background you want but for this thumbnail i'm gonna be using this background right here so this is how it looks after importing the background and it looks pretty good and you can see on the left and the right side the corners are pretty empty so i'm gonna be adding an arrow or something like that to fix this so i'm gonna put an arrow right here and i'm gonna move the monkey more to the left this looks way better but there's still some empty space below the arrow so i think i'm gonna add some text there so this is how the thumbnail looks now and this looks way better so now i'm gonna camera raw everything and this is how the background looks after the camera raw and it looks so good and i think this is it for the thumbnail so now i'm gonna go over here to file export export as and export this into my file so that's how you can make the perfect thumbnail and if you guys want more content like this then make sure to subscribe well see you guys in the next one bye